Hi, I'm Steph Chavez, and today we're going to talk about high-speed PCB design. Designing high-speed printed circuit boards comes with its own set of challenges due to the complex nature of signal integrity, electromagnetic interference, and high frequency of operations. Here are the top five challenges associated with high-speed PCB design. The first challenge I'll address is signal integrity. This is in regards to reflections and impedance mismatch. High-speed signals are susceptible to reflections and impedance mismatches leading to signal distortions. Maintaining controlled impedance throughout the transition line is crucial to prevent these issues. Skew and timing issues are also part of the signal integrity issues that you would see. Skew can cause timing misalignment, impacting the performance of synchronous systems. Ensuring consistent signal propagation times is essential for maintaining signal integrity. There are two types of EMI I want to discuss. One is radiated EMI and the other one is conductive EMI. With radiated EMI, high-speed signals can generate electromagnetic radiation, potentially interfering with other nearby components or systems. Proper grounding, shielding, and layout techniques are necessary to minimize radiated EMI. With conductive EMI, fast switching signals can induce unwanted noise on power and ground planes. Effective power distribution and decoupling strategies are vital to mitigate conducted EMI. The third main challenge I want to talk about is power distribution network or PDN. With PDN design, there's decoupling capacitors and power integrity that need to be addressed. In regards to decoupling capacitors, ensuring an adequate number of properly placed decoupling capacitors is crucial to stabilize the power distribution network. Inadequate decoupling can lead to voltage fluctuations and affect the reliability of the system. In regards to power integrity, maintaining low impedance paths for power distribution is important to avoid voltage drops and to ensure stable power is distributed to all the high-speed components. The next major challenge I want to talk about is crosstalk. With crosstalk, there's capacitive and inductive. Signals on adjacent traces can induce capacitive and inductive crosstalk affecting signal quality. Proper spacing, routing techniques, and differential signaling can help minimize crosstalk between traces. The fifth challenge I want to talk about is thermal management. High-speed components can generate a significant amount of heat impacting the performance and reliability of the PCB. Efficient thermal management, including the use of heat sinks and thermal vias, is essential to prevent overheating. Addressing these top five challenges requires a combination of proper planning, adherence to best practices, and often the use of simulation tools to analyze and model the behaviors of high-speed signals on the PCB. Additionally, continuous testing and validation throughout the design process is crucial to ensure that your board meets the required performance criteria. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you now have a better understanding of designing high-speed PCBs. Keep following for more trends, challenges, and opportunities across the printed circuit engineering industry.